The boat behind me is Condor. She's a 42 foot sports cruiser built by Choi Lee in 1983 and there's something very, very special to show you about this boat. So let's step on board and get started. Very few shipyards, if any, can boast a history like Chow Lee. They've been building amazing boats for 150 years, mostly in the commercial space, but today you might know that they build super yachts under their brand name, CL. But they have a fantastic history and this boat plays a very significant part in that because in the mid to early 1980s, Chow Lee partnered with one of the legendary naval architects, Tom Fexus, to design a series of boats for them and the boat in front of us is one of those boats. So I'm just going to step on board here and explain to you some of the amazing history of Condor which in fact is for sale if you're at all interested we can provide the details of that for you. Uh, in the 1980s uh, Fexus who was uh, a legendary boat designer at the time was part of a collaboration with Chow Lee to build uh, a new range of boats, this being one of those, which needed to be uh, a flexible boat in terms of its, its performance, but they wanted something which was sleek and stylish. And Fexus came up with this design, which was, became known as the Italian style or the Italian design. And it had a role in influencing uh, boats of, well, decades to come. And you'll probably recognize the style of this boat as we move around as being very are familiar with with modern boats particularly if we kind of look up the side of Condor here you'll start to get a sense of that but let's talk about what makes this such a fantastic boat still today um, I'm sitting in the the aft cockpit which as you can see is a very uh, open plan uh, versatile space uh, as a 42 foot boat she's got a beam of just on 14 feet or four and a quarter meters. And this was built as a sports fish and also uh, open blue water cruising boat. So the current owner, Bruce, uh, has chosen to keep this open. You could have uh, loose furniture here. Uh, you could uh, you know, keep this if you wanted to, I guess, to do more, more fishing. But it is a fantastic space to use in whichever way that you want. And uh, if we take a look at those absolutely fantastic uh, teak planks. This is a beautiful example of what Choa Lee and Fexus did, what, which was at the time to choose and use the most high quality materials that they could at the time to build these boats. And to give you a sense of what that means, uh, when this boat was built in 1983, uh, it cost just on $300,000 and the average price of houses in Australia at that time were 80,000. So this was a very, very high spec expensive boat uh, when it was built and still today I think looks fantastic and has been you know, lovingly cared for by its owner. But let's start the tour and look around. Uh, in front of me you can see here we've got uh, a fridge which of course for day boating or passaging you will want to have the convenience of a, a fridge on board. If we step into the salon, what you'll see is an interesting layout. Where to my right, Starbum, we've got uh, a lounge set up with uh, a table, which of course is a great socializing space, as well as if you're overnighting on the boat would be where you would come in to, to have your meals and come out of the weather. And on the port side, there's another lounging area. Now, this is probably a fantastic boat um, for three, four, five people. There's berthing accommodation for that many people. I'll show you that in a moment. But it's a very, very comfortable, uh, quite well-lit, spacious uh, salon. And if we move forward, you can see here that there's a forward galley. Now, the boat's owned and is being used currently by owner we're not in a we're not in a showroom or at a boat show uh, but what you can see here is the boats well equipped with uh, with a fridge with a microwave oven plenty of storage there's an electric uh, hob over here there's also sink there so you're well catered for in terms of being able to come on board and be very comfortable for however long you might like to choose 
and if I spin around to the left you can see here the first of the two helms now of course being a flybridge there is one upstairs which we'll go and take a look at but I quite like you know the classic look of this helm with the two throttles here for the twin Cummins engines that we can talk about a little bit later but there is nothing like sometimes looking at you know helms from a, uh, a bygone era to get a sense of the, the style and I, I think these still are a fantastic looking looking design and helm now I did say that this is uh, perfect for you know, up to four maybe five people and if we just scoot forward we can have a look at the accommodation uh, that Condor offers and why don't we move straight forward into the main accommodation which is in the bow which is this big double berth here um, really well lit uh, I like the, the windows to the port and starboard side as well as the, the lighting and I mean I do like some of the classic boats of course so I do like the the, uh, the walnut, the timber, the, 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 the teak finishes that older boats have and Condor certainly has that. Uh, above us uh, is a hatch which has a, a tender over it at the moment but that provides of course light and ventilation and that uh, tender isn't there and if I just pull back a little bit you'll see that there is storage there as well um, but I'm uh, reasonable height I'm just under six foot and I've got quite a bit of uh, clearance above my head so this is a very comfortable uh, cabin to be in uh, there's storage on both sides of the cabin it's very easy to move around the cabin more storage there and of course if you're heading away for any number of, of days you need the convenience of uh, an ensuite which this has there's a separate shower there with a teak bench which you can see just just there and plenty of light coming through portal there's obviously a separate loo and a basin there in front of us oh, I, there where I am uh, but a very nice size ensuite for a boat of this size which I said before is being used by the owners I use this boat a lot uh, to go up and down the coast uh, they do some day fishing so it's a boat that's been well loved and used now uh, the second cabin uh, offers sleeping for up to three people there's a single uh, bunk at the top and then there's another bunk which is a smaller double but you could have two you know possibly three people at a pinch and that cabin would share the ensuite through this door as such so I think all in all for a boat that's built 40 years ago this is still in uh, you know, terrific nick. Uh, I don't think it looks uh, outdated. I, I love the quality of the fittings, the solid wood doors uh, that Charlie used, that Fexus designed, and it still holds up extremely well in my opinion. So let's move back out onto the aft cockpit. And I'm gonna do my best not to fall over as we climb up to the flybridge normally climb up single-handed but anyway here I go this could be spectacular if I fall down no we've navigated our way up to the top and what a fantastic position this would be to helm the boat now being a flybridge this would be the main position you would be coming to to helm the boat uh, it's had a recent upgrade there's a 12 inch raymarine uh, there in front of us but again that classic helm wheel the two throttles I just think this is a, a fantastic design um, I do like a bit of retro in my boats but I still think this holds up extremely well um, there's two helm chairs so if you're underway you can be sitting there next to the 
the captain or the skipper, the owner enjoying the view. And there's also a lounging area just here. So you could comfortably have four or five, everybody on board could come up here and enjoy the view over the bow that looks like that, which is fantastic. Um, let's talk about tenders. Uh, in front of me there uh, is the boat's tender, uh, which of course you're catered for by uh, a crane, which has a cover on it at the moment. We've come into a bit of uh, a bit of weather today, so that's that's covered up. Uh, but you can launch your tender off there and then go exploring, having a fantastic time. Uh, lights, everything you would expect at the front here. Uh, Bruce, the owner, has a uh, inflatable tube, as you can see here. So this boat's been really well loved, really well used. Uh, and I think I did mention the front that Condor uh, is for sale. Um, not, not through me, I'm not associated with that whatsoever, but I've just been invited on to show you a piece of this boating history. So, fantastic helm, fantastic view. I'm going to again see if I can back my way down from the flybridge back into the main salon where I think we might wrap up this beautiful little tour. Okay, I've come in back inside of the salon. There's a little bit of weather coming in, so uh, let's talk about um, Condor's engines before we wrap this up. Uh, she has two twin Cummins uh, shaft drive engines, each producing about 200 and 70 horsepower. Uh, the engines have had a, a recent complete overhaul. The boat's been extremely well loved and, and serviced and, and looked after. Uh, and the next owner, I'm sure, will get many, many years of, uh, of fantastic enjoyment out of the boat. Um, so I think let's leave it uh, here. Um, over my shoulder, you can see one of the portal style windows, which were uh, designed by Fexus. Um, I, I think this is a fantastic boat for a boat that's uh, a bit over 40 years old, still looks fantastic. Uh, the quality of the finishings, the, the, the timbers that have been used, it's held up extremely well and has been really loved by the owner. I hope you've enjoyed walking around this Choi Lee 42 Sports Cruiser. Um, I've loved it. If you've enjoyed it, um, give the video a like. If you like these types of videos, we do one a week where we find cool boats, interesting boats. Uh, to look at like this and others uh, subscribe to our channel but I think we can leave it there and I look forward uh, to seeing you next week on our next video bye for now